and welcome, it's Mandy Swift here with your one minute marketing tip and we're talking about maximizing your email campaigns. This is part two of the series and today we're talking about how to actually get your email opened. Assuming you now know how to get it into people's inbox, how do you get it in front of them so they actually opened it? In the last video, I shared with you that in 2010, 294 billion emails were sent every single day. That is a lot of emails. That's a lot of stuff for people to get through. So what's going to trigger them to actually go, I need to open your email? The first key thing is to have a very, very strong and compelling subject line. Something that really piques people's interest. A question is great. People have to know the answer. We are psychologically wired. We need to know the answer when someone probes us with a question. So a question is great to put in your headline. Promising a, a fantastic tip to come is another great way to get your email opened. Now, the second key thing to ensuring your emails are opened by people is to provide interesting and valuable content. You know what they say, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. If you send somebody an email and they read it and it's boring, it's long, it's great big blocks of text, they're never gonna open another one of yours because they're gonna go, uh-oh, here comes the boring email again. So your email needs to be short, it needs to be punchy, it needs to be very short um, blocks of text and make sure you're only addressing one point in each of your emails. Don't go off on a long rant and try and give people a ton of information. Stick to one key point. If you are short, punchy, sharp, interesting, if you are known for providing valuable content, people will actually wait. They will actually look for your emails and you can guarantee that they're gonna get opened on a regular basis. I hope that helps you. For more tips on your marketing campaign, then head across to my blog, fitnessmarketingsos.com. I'd love to see you over there. And of course, please remember, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video, and I will see you in part three. Take care.